I'm here with Paul Hamilton, who runs the Atlanta Reign. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today, man. Thanks for having me on, Malik. All right, so let's go ahead right off the bat. I want to give you a few brownie points, because I heard that you play a lot of Overwatch. So I got to know, who do you main? What's your role? What do you play? <laughs> well, a lot's a relative term, I guess. Um, I have three kids that say I don't play Overwatch very well at all. <laughs> uh, my main is D.Va. And I sort of like the mobility, and I certainly need the ability to be shot more than, than most. Right, right. That's a good, that's a good choice. I, occasionally, I flex to uh, Zan and really embarrass myself. So, yeah, but I, <laughs> I do love the game. But uh, let's talk about the team. Atlanta Esports Ventures is relatively new when it comes to esports. So uh, how did you guys go about putting this team together? Well, let me, I need my hat on first for this. <laughs> nice. So how did we put the team together? Oh, um, our GM, Eric, and I locked ourselves in a room and made a decision early on that we were going to get an experienced coaching staff that we felt sort of had the same values that we did. And we were able to do that. We hired uh, Brad, who's our head coach, and Dimitri and Danny and Dongmin and Cass. And we locked ourselves in a room and watched thousands of hours of VODs. Um, I was no help at all, but I did want to sort of learn uh, about it. So I just listened quietly and nodded my head. And then from the VODs that we watched, we held tryouts, countless tryouts, and eventually it led to the eight person roster you see today. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I want one of those hats. I'm just sitting here and I'm watching you wear that, man. The, the, the branding for the Atlanta Reign is so clean. Uh, tell me, you know, how, how was it putting that all together and how are these things unique to Atlanta specifically, like the colors and whatnot? So yeah, when we, when we worked on what the brand would look like, we were pretty married to the fact that we wanted to be true to Atlanta, but also very true to the esports community. So uh, the color scheme is very Atlanta-esque. Yes. Uh, red, black, silver, white. And, and that's sort of a scheme that we felt like never goes out of style. Uh, the, the name itself, the rain, we wanted a contemporary name that sort of felt esports and sort of spoke to what we're trying to build there. Uh, when you look at the logo, it's, it's a crest with a crown on it, which represents the rain. And then the phoenix is, is a very important uh, item in the history of Atlanta. Atlanta burned down in the 1800s and was reborn. The city seal has a phoenix on it. So it was sort of the marriage of the rain and the phoenix in one. And obviously, we think it looks really cool. So it was exciting for us. I got one more question for you, though. Which other expansion team are you looking forward to beating the most? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I, off the cuff, I'd probably say Vancouver. OK. Uh, and that's because what they've done is amazing. I'm, I'm so excited to see Runaway come over here as the whole org. And I, I'm so excited that Vancouver was able to do that. Um, they've got such quality players. So when, I, when you say look forward to beating, uh, it, it's looking forward to competing and, and seeing how the league shakes out this year. I like to hear that, man. Uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and throw a monkey wrench in there. Is there any current Overwatch League team, one of the, uh, I guess, the original franchises that you are looking forward to facing off against when the season starts? You know, there was a, a Reddit post that someone put up at one point early on that said, Battle of the Cable Conglomerates or something about the fusion and, and the rain with Cox and Comcast. So I always <laughs> sort of found that difference. And I think Tucker's an awesome guy, and they've run, they run an incredible org, and obviously they played in the championship. So I would love, love to be able to beat Tucker and, and beat the fusion. But that's a lot of work, and, and we're going to do the best we can. All right, man. Well, I'm going to keep that call out in the books, man, for sure, dude. But, yo, thank you so much, Paul, for taking the time to talk to us, and best of luck this year to you, man. Thanks so much, Malik. I appreciate it. I love it. So let's talk about Atlanta's newest squad. This rain lineup is looking pretty interesting here. There's some names that I'm not as familiar with, and then there's one that I'm super familiar with. 
What do you see when you look at this roster? I mean, that's a, it's a lot of new names to uh, people who haven't really been following, uh, let's say, Overwatch World Cup as well as contenders. All those names should be familiar if you have been watching any of that. Uh, and uh, some of them are fairly big. I mean, Defran, right? Like, yeah. everyone knows of Defran. Erster, definitely a familiar face from uh, the uh, Korean side of things. Uh, Daco or Doko and uh, Pokepo, definitely the two biggest uh, names on this list. Though. Yeah, those are the ones that I'm most excited to talk about actually because that's the tank duo from Element Mystic who are a very strong team in Contenders Korea. They didn't have the greatest showings when it came to the playoffs but they ended up being like super good in the regular season and this tank duo was one of the reasons why. I think Doko in particular, fantastic diva player. Uh, but the question is, these guys are Korean and they're coming into a very international team. You've got to expect that the language that everyone's going to be speaking here is English, because I don't know how well Defran speaks Korean. So I, that's going to apply a bit more pressure on making sure that the communication works well. And we've seen that be a big struggle for some other teams. Well, there's one guy we also need to mention. It's Defran, a very well-known streamer, amazing mechanic, slightly volatile. <laughs> yep. He's had his issues on social media. So let's talk about where do we see him fitting into this team. <laughs> The what young lad. <laughs> what a picture, man. I assume that's not I, very I, recent. I'm not going to comment on his ability to work in a team, right? Because the last time I, I saw him play, uh, it was a little bit questionable in, in a team environment, right? But his mechanical skill can't be denied. I mean, you're no. looking at the shots here from this promo the piece that, that Lanza put together. It He's got to be one of the most mechanically skilled Western players right now in Overwatch. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. It's going to be entertaining either way watching Defran, I think, because yeah. if he performs <laughs> to his highest level, that's always insanely entertaining. If he utterly implodes and it just goes bananas, that could also be super entertaining. And you've got to, <laughs> like, genuinely, they must have had to weigh this up, though, when they picked up this guy, sure. because he's kind of had that kind of explosive that's, nature that's in the That's the past. thing. Like, I... I I do think that Atlanta knows what they bought with the front. Yeah, they know yeah. what they're getting, and I'm pretty sure that they are setting up an uh, infrastructure and an environment, a team environment, where a player like the front can focus on what he's truly good at, which sure. is being an amazing